so without further ado, Etifano, I'm going to invite our uh, Fire Kathy Jews uh, to join us in our Fare Matihiko Nei. Uh, he Pukukoro Amona, Dr. Kathy Jews Tarawa Ngati Poro, is a leader in Maori education and Maori language revitalization, a founding member of Teropu Maori, Maori Language Society. She helped instigate the Maori language petition in 1972. Dr. Jews was also instrumental in the establishment of Kurakopapa Maori throughout Aotearoa. She is currently the principal of Te Kurakopapa Maori Orua Mata Irotorua. Along with her Horangati Paparawiri, their commitment has been exemplified by their dedication to raise their tamariki in te reo meo na tikanga and fostering an environment where both the language and its customs can flourish. E te rangati rai, te ihorei, e te manukura, e whaia kati tēnā rā koe, nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Tu whera ki a rangi nui, tā maua ki a papa tu anuku, tau a whia te tupua, e whakata mai nei. Kei te mihi au ki ngā tupua katoa, kua hono mai ki tēnei te hui ātau a toi tangata. Koutou te hunga i whakapau kaha ana kia ora ai te hau me te wai o tō tātou iwi Māori. E te rangatira dāreo, tēnā koe. Nā hau te pōwhiri kia tai mai a hau ki waenga nui a koutou ki te whakatakoto i etahi kōrero, etahi whakaaro ōku ki mua i tō koutou aroaro. Tēnā koutou katoa. My presentation to you today and Please forgive me, I'm going to speak English. My presentation is in four parts. I begin with a brief description of my personal journey to reclaim and revitalize our Māori language. The second part, which follows, contains my challenge to each and every one of us, mostly you, te tira ho, to be a warrior within the army which has committed to the struggle. The third part makes reference to words of wisdom uttered by one of my Pō Pono, John Rangihau, in 1987. I conclude with comments from Modi Ora, which Moana Jackson describes as a working philosophy on Māori health and well-being. Katerina Tehei Koko Mataira wrote the report and the commentary after several years and several hui amongst just a few very wise and knowledgeable sages such as Mona Jackson, Emster Reedy, Ngane Komen Hinnik, and her son Tahuna, Eru Portaka Dews, and Tani Cassidy. So let me begin with Taku Hikoi Kite Ara Faka Ora Itereo. Kite Kore Roa Mo Taku Hikoi Kite Ara Otereo, Me Taku E Faka Pononei Na Te Wairua Ahau I Karanga Ko Te Reo Hei Mahi Māku. Ahakoa ka whakawhiwhia mai te trofe Anna P. Stout mo te best all-round student i taku kura i taua wā. Kaore i whakaia e te tumua ki taku inoi kia āhei au ki te aku i taku reo Māori mā te kura ātuhi. Te kaumāwhitu tau taku pakeke i taua wā ko taku tau whakamutunga ki te kura. Ko te tia mana te wiwi te itariano te romana me te ino nihia aku reo i akohia ai i taua tau, ono te kaumāwaru. Engari, te a hei taku reo rangatira. Nā reira kataia tua hau ki wikitoria me te hikaka kia akohia taku reo me ngā tikanga. Ko taku tino waiata i taua wā, koia ko tā Nina Simone, te tau whitu te kau tērā, Mi mihi kā tika kia Nina Simone ko ngā kupu o tana waiata i whakakaha i taku whakapono me kaha taku ako i taku reo kia tū Māori mai waiora mai ahau ki tōku ao. Whakarongo ki ngā kupu o te waiata nei. Engari ia wā kei te kia te kupu black, whakarohia waiata tia ko te kupu Māori.
Tumanako ia i tino rongo koutou i tērā waiata i hera wātu te rongo i tēnei tāha. Hoiano, ko tā te Māori hei whakapūmau i te whakapono i puta mai i ngā apataki tamariki a whatawiniata. He Māori ahau, he Māori koe, nō ku tēnei whenua nō o ku tūpuna. Tēnei reo, te reo tūturu, o tēnei whenua, o tēnei whenua, o Aotearoa. Aha, kwa kwa ngaro haere ki a kaha, ake ake, he Māori ahau, nō ku tēnei whenua, me tēnei reo, ki a kaha au, ki te ako, ki te whakāko, ki te poipoi, Ki te āki, ki te whakatairanga, kia ora tonu ai te reo. Ko era, ngā kaupapa, ngā kōrero i tino mau ki o mātou ngākau. Ko mātou ko aku hoa o ngā kraihe reo Māori a taku pāpa i aku i te reo, i aku i ngā mō teatea, i aku i ngā taonga tuku iho. Me ngā tikanga. I whakatū hia e mata he momo karapu ki te tennis pavilion, ki reira ka kōrero tia ka prakitihingia e mata o te reo, ka tahi anō kia mau i a mata. Ka titoa e napi waka tētahi waiata. Hoi anō, ko tā mata i rāngona i taua wā i a mata e whakatairanga ana i te reo, a he nui ngā pākeha i rata mai. Nā reira ka pōwhiritia e mātou ngā tauira katoa o Wikitoria kia hara mai ki te ako i etahi taonga a te Māori. Engari ko tā napi, he rongo i tētahi mō reereatanga o tērā mahi a mātou. Ko tāna waiata, e te iwi Māori au e hea ha tēnei, ko te iwi pākeha. Kei te ako e, i tō tātou reo Māori me ngā tikanga, waiho ake tātou me te hanga kuare. Lest you be embarrassed and ashamed as a result of your ignorance, Māori mā. Nō reira e te iwi kaua e waiho noa, Mā te pāke hā koe hei whaka i tie, ki mihia tō tūranga tūturu Māori e, ki a kore koe e whaka mā. Lest you be embarrassed and ashamed as a result of your ignorance. Ko pāpa tērā e pakanga ana kia whai mana mutu hake te reo Māori i rotu i te whare wānanga o Wikitoria. I taua wā ko anthropology te mana whakahaere o tō tātou reo, he tati mana te rangatira. Ko tā mātou, he tautoko i tāna e pakangatia ana. Ko te waiata a tuini ngā wai, hei āki, hei whakapūmau i tā mātou whakapono. Hei aha te mātou ranga a te pākeha, ko tāna he patupatu mai a tātou i tō tātou reo me ngā tikanga.
Hei patu mahara, patu tikanga Māori. What for? In order to confuse my thinking and destroy my cultural practice. Katahi a hana te hia mara ka tai mai ki to mātou kāinga ki 224 Karori Road me tana tono ki a pāpa. Māna o ti rā mā mātou tana piti hana e tautoko. Praying for courses in Māori language and aspects of Māori culture to be offered in all schools where Māori are the majority. Ka whakaia e mātou ka tīmata ki te whakarite rite me pēhe a tā mātou kohi kohi hainatanga. I te mutunga iho, ko tētahi o ngā rautaki i whakatauria ai, ko te kawe me te pā tōtō ki ngā whare katoa o Porirua o Wainui o Mata me Karori. I te hui a te New Zealand Federation of Māori Students i tū i Waiwhetu Marae i te marama o Mei 52. Ka matapakihia e mātou ko ngā tamatoa te pitihana a hana te hemara. Nāna i ki, nā hana i ki, ko te tekau māwha o hepe te mate rā e kawea ai te pitihana ki te whare pāri mata. Nā reira, huri mātou katoa ki te tautoko i aia. Ko hau me taku pēpi a te kapunga mātou ko te tungane a Campbell i noho ki te horo o ngā siponeke ki te whakarite i te kai mā te hunga i haere ai ki te whare pāri mata. Ko te au nuku rene te kraua i arahi i te māpu pitihana ki te whare pāre mata. Ko te au nuku rene o te atea wa Ngāti Toa Ngāti Raukawa. Nāna te kōrero. Tērā te atua e pātai ki a tātau i pēwhia tia e koutou te reoranga tira i huatungia nā e hau ki a koutou. So, his challenge to us at that time was... When you get to heaven or cross to the other side of the veil, God will ask you, what have you done with that chiefly language which I gave to you, which I gifted to you? Mā koe whakautu. A tēnā e te atua, ko a ora taku reo rangatira nā hau i homai, i rotu i taku whānau, i rotu i taku kohanga, i rotu i taku kura, i roto hoki i taku hāpore a tārangi o te kāinga mo te reo ki roto rua. Kua puku mahi a hau, kua raupā o kuringa kia ao aku wawata. I will respond by saying, I've done extremely well. Um, I have. My hands are blistered and worn to the bone. I've been extremely industrious over 50 years of endeavour in order that my dreams for my Māori language are realised. Nā te aha tutuki ai, nā te whakapono, te koe, te pukumahi, me te māia. E hia ke ngā tāpaitanga i tuhia e mātou ngā ihu hupe nei, Māori mai pākeha mai. Hei kawe atu ki tēnei komiti, ki tēnā komiti, ki tēnei minita, ki tērā minita. Me o mātou paupono. I tautoko mai, i akiaki mai, i arahi mai i a mātou, ngā paupono pērā i a te kapunga dius, huirangi waikere puru, whatarangi winiata, mire te awa John Rangihau, api mahuika, Katerina Mataira, he mi pōtatau. Kua kōrero kea mo te hui i waiwhetu i te whitutakau marua, i taua hui ka whakahuri hia te ingoa o te New Zealand Federation of Māori Students ki te hui ngā rangatahi. He oi, ko mātau e rā ko ngā tauira Māori o ngā whare wānanga o te motu, i huri ki te whakatairanga i te reo Māori, hei reo tūturu, hei reo kōrerotia, hei reo whakākona ki Aotearoa. We had an unshakable faith, belief and conviction that Māori must be reclaimed in order that we may survive the threat of extinction. Ko e tahi o aku mahi i taua wā, ko te tuhi kōrero mo te hōtaka WAGS, he hōtaka tamariki o te reo irirangi o te motu, National Radio. He āwhina ki te tuhi whakaari mo tētea, ka kawea e tāmati kru jama ki ngā kura, ki he ake rā. He whakāko kapahaka ki Wellington High School, he whakāko i te reo ki ngā tai o he kēnge a Dennis O'Reilly. He tarai ki te whakatū kura ko hunga hunga reo Māori ki Allen Bay, kaore anō te kohanga ki a tīmata i taua wā. 
he noho ki tētahi hōtaka paua ka whakāta ki te tohe ki a Russell Marshall, minita o te mātauranga o taua wā, i roto tonu i te reo Māori. Nā kia mohi o koutou i tino kore take taku reo Māori i taua wā. Ahakoa kua riru i a hau a ngā pepa tautahi taurua tautoru reo Māori ki te whare wānonga wikitoria, he kore take tonu taku reo kōrero. A waha. Hoi anō, kaha au ki te puta ki mua i te pauka whakāta, hei kawe i te kaupapa, tohe ngia ki te minita o te mātauranga, i roto i te reo Māori. Me te nui o ngā hui ki te whakarite-rite i ngā rautaki, hei whakaora i te reo. I roto i te rā o te reo Māori, ko te kaumāwha o Hepitema, Kātahi ko te wiki o te reo Māori, he nui ngā take i tohengia e mātou ko te rōpū reo Māori me te hui ngā rangatahi. Pērā me te reo irirangi, pauaka whakāta, Māori hei reo ōkawa o Aotearoa, komihana reo Māori, taurawhiri, kreme ki te traipiunara o Waitangi. Ko taku tino take, ko tērā i ngā kau nuitia ai e hau i roto i ngā tau, koia ko te kura aho matua. The one issue that captured my heart and my soul was and is kura aho matua. I te tau waru te kau mātoru, i ti mata mātou, ko te rōpū reo Māori o Aotearoa ki Rotorua, ki te mahi moni, Hei whakatū kura Māori. And you can see there on the slide, Te Reo Māori o Aotearoa ki Rotorua are seeking funds to establish a special character Māori school. The broad aims of the school are to provide an opportunity for children to become thoroughly conversant with their Māori language customs and values. To provide an environment in which each student shall discover and realise their full potential, to provide work experiences and relevant learning projects which will facilitate their eventual participation in all areas of employment, to stimulate and encourage individual creativity so that if jobs do not exist, they will be able to create their own jobs. Ka hui hui mātou ki tūno hopu marae ki te matapaki i ngā rautaki, kia tū he kura Māori. Anā i te tau waru te kau mā whitu, ka whakatū whirangia te kura o rua mata. I te tau waru te kau mā iwa, ka whakatūrengia te kura kaupapa Māori. Engari te kau tau whai muri ake i te tau iwa te kau mā waru, ka whakatūrengia a te aho matua kei kaupapa tuā papa mō roto i te kura kaupapa Māori. I nae nei, kua ono te kau mā Rua ngā kura aho matua o te motu whānui e waru anō ngā whānau e tatari ana kia whakatūri a rātou. Mai i muri hiku ki te hiku o te ika e āte te tonu ana mātou i te aupēhitanga a te krauna pākehā. Ko etahi o ngā tino pepehā, ngā ōhāki, Kua waihotia mai e rātou mā. Ko tētahi, ko tāhe mi henare, ko te reo te mauri o te mana Māori. Ko te reo te mauri, ko tā te hei kōko, me Māori te mana, kia Māori te mauri. Ko ia, hei kupu whakamutunga māku me ki, ko te mana te mauri me te wairua māori me te aki e tātou, ko te reo te waka, hei whakapū mau i e nei tikanga. What has this dissertation about te reo māori got to do with your work and health, you may be asking? In your place of employment, who wields the power and authority? Who has the mana whakahaere? Is it the Māori or is it the Pākehā? It will make a significant difference to the Māori of your endeavours. The essential quality and vital essence of the whole operation. I'd like to turn now to the second part of 
my presentation for today. And that's to do with a talk that I gave in 2005 to another Tiraho, as you are the future of our society. What I told them in 2005 was that we were children struggling to change the world, to make it a better place for our children and their children and their children's ch children and so on and so on. We started in 1970 with the establishment of Te Reo Māori Society, whose purpose was twofold. One, to provide an opportunity for like-minded students of Māori language to come together and practice speaking Māori. Our goal, to establish Māori as an ordinary and everyday language of communication to be used in every aspect of our daily lives. Two, to lobby and politicize in order that Māori should have a place in our society. Our first political lobby, as you have um, seen, was for the establishment of a chair of Māori at Victoria University. We then threw our energies behind Hannah Jackson Tehemara's petition, asking that Māori be available as an optional subject in all secondary schools. We assisted in the collection collection of 30,000 signatures towards her petition, whose day of presentation became the first National Māori Language Day, and National Māori Language Week is still celebrated even now, the new, 50 years later. The New Zealand Federation of Māori Students, later known as Te Huinga Rangatahi, took up the cudgel and worked relentlessly for the following 10 years to secure a place for our language, values, customs, and beliefs. In 1980, as I recall, we attempted to run a hui for all teachers of Māori language, which was sabotaged by the then Department of Education. Katerina Mataira and John Rangiho were to be the key catalysts for the development of a unified course of action and a strategic plan for language revitalization, which we would all pursue sabotaged by the De Department of Education. Many hui later, many deputations later, many submissions later, and several petitions later, we celebrate our achievements. I say our because nothing ever happened without that ka hui hui mai te tokotini mi te tokomaha, that a collective of like-minded people have the courage, the determination, and the will to go forward together. So, what progress have we made in 50 years? We have kohanga reo, we have ātārangi, kura kaupapa Māori and kura a iwi. We have reo irirangi, whakāta Māori, tauraferi i te reo, wānanga Māori, we have families with four generations, five generations, and I know of one family with six generations of Māori speakers. We have, as Rua Mata, conduct all of our business in Māori, hui whānau, uh, waka ama, haupoe, uh, as well as everything within the school, in Māori. Māori is the normal and ordinary means of communication. We have te ru nanga nui o ngā kura kaupapa Māori, again, whose business, all of whose business is conducted totally in Māori. We have courses and qualifications in Māori, entertainment, advertising, teacher training, and subjects like science, maths, history, computer studies, media, PE, art, whakairo, raranga, music, health, biology, chemistry, physics, calculus, algebra, statistics, and home economics taught through to year 13, totally in Māori. Huge progress, but more is yet to be done. The language is still not a living language in our homes and in our communities. So, challenge number one. Have you accepted the challenge and made a personal commitment to change your world and make it a better place for your descendants to be Māori? 
In our time, we were children who challenged the state and the Māori world, and the Māori world. We challenged our old people um, to help us reclaim their language. So we challenged the Māori world as well to make a better world for our own children. And are you doing likewise, or are you relying on the old campaigners to continue campaigning? Where and when will you make a stand? Or do you think that Māori language is not necessary to be Māori? I actually think I'm talking to the converted here. I'm very impressed, Dario, with, uh, with your te raho. Um, Challenge number two. Has the original goal of Te Reo Māori society been achieved? No. Do you hear Māori everywhere you go? Ask yourself the questions. Is Māori the language of ordinary communication in your kitchen, in your bathroom, your dining room, your living room, your bedroom, your backyard? Is Māori the language of communication at your marae committee meetings or land trust meetings? Is Māori the language of communication on your marae after the formal ritualistic mihimi have concluded? Do you conduct any part of your business or workplace activities in Māori? Kōrero Māori in wā katoa ki ngā wāhi katoa. We started promoting that in 1970. Sometimes you don't have a choice. It's a bit like the kids' uh, Pokemon cartoon. You fellows might not know about Pokemon, so they might be out of date now. Uh, you begin to feel as though someone has tapped you on the shoulder and said, I choose you. You work in health. You have no choice. Our language is essential to our health and well-being. I move now to the third part of my dissertation. Um, and I'm going to read a few words of wisdom from John Rangiha, which he um, uttered in 1987 at a conference of um, a gathering. I think it must have been social workers who were gathered in Christchurch at that time, and it's called Beyond Crisis. His speech has relevance to all of us who work in health and also education. I've taken the liberty of adding a few of my own words in order to assist the flow. And now I say to you, the Pākehā government, we Māori seem to be able to review, report on, analyse, measure, inspect, but that is where it all ends. When we give you the solutions, those solutions are either thrown out, downgraded, or killed off through being under-resourced. I repeat again to you all, the need to hear the Māori exhortation to return to those solutions that abide in the time-tested meridians of the old world. Therein lies our salvation. But that the only duty of today's administrators is that it should be acknowledged and resourced. The crown will kill us off with poor resourcing, poor understanding, poverty of planning. Pākehā control is a piece of fossilised antiquity, and unless its protagonists throw out its remains, the ghost will never take you into the 21st century. The more that Pākehā society keeps seeing Māori initiatives as a threat, the more it will delay its own destiny. Our success requires, and this is a plea to all of us, from John Rangiho in 1987, our success requires intense struggle. If I can refer now to the final part of my dissertation, 
I want to turn to the Modi Order publication. I don't know if you know it. Um, it's a document that Moana Jackson describes as a working philosophy on Māori health and well-being. In Kura Kaupapa Māori, we have another document, Te Ahomatoa, which is a working philosophy on Māori education and community lifestyle. Both documents, Te Ahomatoa and Māori Ora, were penned by Katerina Te Heikoko Mataira. I recommend Māori Ora as essential reading for everyone working within the health sector. In the foreword, which is the only part written in English in this document, Moana Jackson has said, in the infinite yet very human wisdom of the Tipuna, our people learned that insight and wellness both derived from the certainty of knowing who we were. After 1840, that intellectual and spiritual tradition was redefined and taken from us, along with our land and power. The facts of that colonization are well known among our people. We were deprived of our understanding of wellness, as well as wellness itself. Mona Jackson continues. In spite of Eld Elston Best's assertion that, I quote from Elston Best, uncivilized folk like our Māori may not do any great amount of thinking, unquote. We have always known that we still had the right and the capacity to discuss, debate, define, and decide for ourselves the very meaning of well-being. In recent years, as our people have become more effectively involved in the delivery of health services, there has been a corresponding rethinking and reclaiming of the kaupapa upon which such services should be based. We have begun to look back in order to go forward and ensure the effective application of our ideas in theory and practice. Many of our people have contributed to this dialogue, and there is an exciting willingness, willingness to question and consider new approaches. Mona Jackson continues. In 2007, a small group of Māori came together with a desire to be part of the Kōrero. Some were health pr practitioners, but many were not. The aim, though, was to see if we could contribute to the debate and offer another philosophy on well-being that might be of help to our people. We debated and discussed and talked with others. In our own small way, we tried to look to the waters and seek knowledge. This publication, Modi Order, is the result. We hope it might indeed be a working philosophy. In conclusion, I would like to say that during my lifetime, I have had the honor and the privilege of working alongside some of Māoridom's best intelligence, most courageous and determined Māori thinkers who were also great battle strategists. They continue to walk with us on the paths that we have chosen. Hei kupu whakamutunga māku, we listen to the voices of the past to inform the voices of the future. Kokoto era kute tiraho. We listen to the voices of the past to inform you, the voices of the future. Tena kote katoa. Te pai te nakui, te nakui i nei korero a tahu. Uh, he me whakaawe awe i te ngākau, whakakipa kipa i te ngākau. Uh, tēnei ngā wene ngā mokopuna uh, o e nei kaupapa penei te, te kohangareo, te kura kaupapa um, tāturā. Uh, ki tēnei tira hau, uh, kei te awha anui, kei te motu e mahi ana i ngā mahi nui. Nga reira e te whae te rangatira tēnā koe uh, maui i whaiwahi mai. Um, we, 
Oh man, there's so much to unpack. But um, <laughs> hoya no, we we have some parts that have come through. Um, I don't know if you've seen some of the comments. Uh, kwa kwa toko ake. Uh, ingari kanui te aroha o te iwi nei uh, ki ngā kōro kwa horahia. Um, I just wanted to grab some of those um, pātai that were in the Q&A box and they're coming through thick and fast now. W one person did ask just by the by if um, part of your presentation today was part of the Wait uh, Waitangi Tribunal. Oh yes. Oh, ke te kōrero pāhia tātou ei. Ai. Oh, um, <laughs> yes, the um, very, um, the slideshow at the beginning, I um, insisted that the uh, tribunal should see that although we hadn't um the, we hadn't um, submitted it as part of my evidence that I would present but I felt that they needed to know the context out of which Kura Kaupapa Māori Ahomatua um was born and um so yes I did show them that slideshow presentation right at the beginning of my um, presentation to you guys to, and gals today. Um, but all the rest of that, um, I was just sort of, um, all the rest of what I've said today, I've just picked out bits and, pe pe bits and pieces that I, you know, wanted to put to Te Tiraho in the work that um, you do amongst our people. Um, we've got a part I hear about um, what are your whakaro about our reo being taught to non-Māori in the building uh, on the whakamā of our whānau, oh, sorry, and building on the whakamā of our whānau Māori who do not know their own language. Chelsea, mm. Kanga, tēnāgoe. Yes, I do have a lot of reservations about that, um, which is why... With Kura Kaupapa Māori Ahomatua, our focus is strongly, well, we have a very strong focus on Māori first, but Pākehā are able to participate if they choose that this is going to be an option, an educational option for their um, children. Um, it is available for them. I learned this uh, sort of welcoming of Pākehā into our ranks um, with love um, from Atarangi and from Katerina Tehei Koko, um, who have a very strong commitment to enabling all people, should they choose, should they wish to do so, to be a part of this journey to learn Māori. It will help um, race relations in Aotearoa. The more people who understand us and the way we think, the way we feel, um, yes, in the end, it will be better for us, but we do have to be conscious of the effect on our own people. So with Kura Ahomatua, focus is... Māori people first and you know we're not saying no to the rest of society but very strong focus and commitment to Māori first. I kite hoki au i te whakāhua a te hei kōko me te atāhua. Hea ko wetahi atu o ngā kura huna me ki etahi atu o ngā akoranga ona mau um, ki tō whakareanga, uh, rānei etahi o ngā akoranga, um, etahi atu o ngā akoranga e, e, e mahara nei koe i tēnei wā? Um, ok. So, um, the first and probably the most important lesson which I learned from Te Hei Koko was what I call Te Mahi a Te Wairua, and that is influence from the other side, um, uh, spiritual knowing um, and understanding. Uh, the first example of 
that uh, lesson was um, after we'd had a working party. So in 1988, David Longy um, agreed that a working party could be um, established to discuss um, Māori education in Aotearoa. It was part of the Tomorrow Schools reform of 1988. The working party um, consisted of um, Te Hei Kōkō, Peter Sharpons, Graham Smith, Rahira Shortland, Pem Bird, Tuki Nepe, Nepe, Tony Waho, myself and others. Um, so we were able to get together, pre, um, discuss Māori education in Aotearoa, what our aspirations were. Um, and out of those meetings and those wānanga, Te Ahomatua was born. Uh, we had a fairly um, comprehensive report, which was also submitted to uh, David Longy and his government, um, with lots of recommendations covering all aspects of education uh, and schooling, uh, learning and teaching. But the, the main thing that came out of that working party was Te Ahumatua. When Te Hei Kōkō was writing it, Rahira Shortland and I were going through all the notes and the meetings of, uh, and minutes of our meetings, and we were passing them over to Te, to te Hei Kōkō to write the, um, the document, which later became known as Te Ahumatua. Um, so she was, you know, we were passing on papers to her across the table. She was very busy writing. As I was driving her back home to um, Whaingaroa after that meeting, uh, I said to her, um, you know, you were really busy writing. I didn't see you reading our papers. Did you look at the minutes from the meetings at all? She said, well, she could remember things that had been happening in the hui and, um, uh, you know, all the, the issues that had been discussed and the opinions and the views that had been articulated. But she told me that once she starts writing, this very often used to happen to her, um, the other side seemed to take over and they had control of her, her hand, her pen. And so it was very much um, a summary of what we had discussed and what we had degree, agreed, but there was also um, an influence from the other side. So te mahi a te wairua, and that was my first real experience of it as an adult, um, and a consciousness of how that influence comes through. Um, and I believe it was probably also, um, it's apparent in our Modi order document as well, um, with, yeah, guidance from the other side, our matua tupuna. Um, they're walking with us and guiding us uh, with Katsuri and Tehe Goko, they take control of her hand and the pen that she's using. So, mahi ate wairua. Yep, big lessons learned from her. Oh, I've got heaps of examples. You know, Fatu, Modi, you know. Uh, that's another story. The, the Fatu, Modi, if Tania Cassidy is... Um, joined with us today, uh, yeah, he knows all about that as well. Kia ora. Um, and I suppose that also speaks to um, you know, te wairua te reo. Um, te wairua te reo i a tātou e, e whanake nei. Um, and it, re it reminds me of, um, you know, we also have this like, as we move through te ao um, and as we as our reo moves into different domains, um, how does how do we maintain the integrity of of the way to Māori? Like, 
the, yeah, the, the, the essence of, of the real without diluting it and it just becoming like a pakeha fization of, that's not even a word, but, you know, uh, in Māori, <laughs> like Pākehā in Māori, and it speaks to one of the questions that have come up here, what are um, your thoughts around the use of te reo Māori within the health system, such as naming documents, legislation, Māori frameworks, etc., without any deeper work or structural efforts towards advancing te reo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I have to admit to a lot of um, dis-ease with regard to um, how, mm, I don't know what the correct description of it is, that, yeah, that taking of our language and using it for, it's almost like an ulterior motive. Um, and a lot of the, um, a lot of the, yeah, it, it's like, you know, the colonial oppressors all over again. Um, so that there's no point in using our language if our native speakers, the people for whom Māori is the first language, and Kawati, you're probably one of those, um, you know, amongst this te that I'm talking to today, um, you know, you guys, you gals are the first language speakers. So if the first language speakers don't recognize that name, um, that vocabulary that's being used, those labels that are being used, then, um, yeah, there's no point in it. Um, and that's one of the policies at my school, at Ruamata. Um, you know, if you need to know something, go to the native speaker, you know, Pita Hifovo, um, daughter of John Rangiho. Um, ask her what she thinks, and that should determine what language we're using. Because as you say, there is a yeah, the Modi, a eh? the Modi or te reo, um, and that essence needs to be retained. Katarina Tehekoko and Te Atarangi are the best example of this, um, insisted, me Māori te mana, kia Māori te Māori. It also reminds me of, um, especially when we're talking on this topic, how do we, um, you know, he ha kia koe, ngā tino wero, ngā tino tairo e nei wānei, uh, mō te reo, ka hore e tino kiteana, e tino rangonana, engari, uh, kei tūpono mai ki te kore tātou e matāra e u ki tō tātou reo e whai nei e whakapono nei tātou. So how do we, how do we um, remain vigilant and what might you perceive some of those challenges or some of those pitfalls that we might walk into unknowingly as we move through, um, you know, from today into the future? But with regards to te reo, what are the, some of the things that we need to be record, um, tūpato around? Um, and, and we've already spoken about like, you know, how not bastardizing our, our or giving the manna and the, the modi of our real way. But are there any other of those um, challenges or those kind of hidden um, things to be careful about as, as we move forward? Yep, we have to be alert and aware. Um, moving with caution always to protect kaua modi. Te mana me te maori, uh, me te wairua. Um, and my general rule of thumb is move, think with, think with your heart and move with love. Um, yeah. Let your heart and let the love, the God of love, um, the gods of love that dwell in your heart um, guide you in everything you do. The, um, the five universal you know, values of you know, tika, pono, aroha, maungarongo, mete rangimārie, um, rangimārie non-violence. Um, yeah, those are the five guiding principles by which we conduct our business and ourselves in our daily lives. 
but the most important of all of those is um, Kote Aroha. When some of the Pātai coming through are, are, are around, I suppose, this, this Pākehā Western framework of the health system. Um, and one of the questions is how can we honour that essence, that modi of our, our real when working within the colonial health system that misuses our real so much, but also, um, you know, it kind of ties into that other question. Um, uh, e peha hoki um, te tiaki ngā raukura o te kura kaupapa, Māori i uru atu ki te ao mahi haura. Peha mātou e tiaki ngā ki a rātou a, ka whakaura tonu te reo me ngā tika o rātou mai. Hopefully, when uh, kura kaupapa Māori, kura a iwi, kohanga reo and wānanga, when we win this clay for a parallel pathway, um, it'll be a model for every other, you know, government sector. Uh, there will be a parallel pathway where we have, where Māori have autonomy and agency, authority and agency. We control um, how we do, this is exactly what John Daniho was talking about, we have the solutions, but we need to control how those solutions are delivered to our people. And you know, Raukura, um, Manu Pirere, yeah, there's the hope for the future, but working with Māori with um, our own mana whakahaere. And this is what my dad and Lapi, my uncle Lapi and, you know, drummed into us. Mana whakahaere, mana whakahaere, mana motuhake, mā te Māori, mō te Māori. You know, once we establish that as just an ordinary way of operating within Aotearoa, yeah, we'll be good. But um, yeah, there's a bit of a hard road to go yet. Mm, mm. And, and on that, like, you know, there's all the struggle that has to be there and has been there. For, for you looking out, um, you know, on i tō iwi Māori, i tēnei whenua noho nei tātou, i tēnei ao, um, what are some of the things that, like, you know, kei reira ngā wero, they're the challenges and stuff and things that I have, but what are some of the things that just, like, make you, you know, pare kare ka nei, the things that excite you about te reo today, seeing the tiraho, seeing the next generations, the hybridizations maybe, or the, 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 the koke ngā whakamua into different domains, into different mahi, um, through media, through tech, through whatever. What are some of those things that fill your cup and make you feel like, yes, yes, a nei te tawira, nei te hua, um, and also excite you about um, what the future might look like for te reo? Yeah, yeah, no, I just love coming to school every day and listening to the kids speaking Māori, you know, playing in Māori, laughing in Māori, mm, crying in Māori, <laughs> um, and having hui because in Māori because there's a disagreement that's occurred, you know, amongst five-year-olds, um, you know, just being immersed in a Māori speaking, but also seeing the kids happy, that's that's fabulous, you know. I I absorb that energy, their um, happiness, their laughter, their joking. You know, the funny kura kids and their kinds of jokes. You know, I um, I might not actually hear what they've said, but I can hear them happy. I can see them happy. Um, nah. Um, I think that it would be true to say that while there is still a lot more work to be done to establish our tenoranga tiratanga, our treaty right for tenoranga tiratanga, for sovereignty over our own taonga and kaupapa, um, you know, and, you know, getting government to realise exactly what they need to do and to be as a treaty partner, as a kawanatanga, how to uh, what that actually looks like and ought to be. Um, 
despite the fact that that challenge is still there in front of us, I'd be prepared. I'm happy to say my future has arrived. I can see it, you know. I can see it in, you know, you guys and you gals um, who have been a part of this kohanga reo, you know. Uh, Ranira Proctor is now the chair of our Matakahuki group, which is Kohanga, Kurahomatua, Kura A Iwi, Wananga, banded together. And we've made a stand, parallel pathway, and our own Māori autonomy and agency. Um, well, Ranira is a you know, graduate of, he's a Raukura of Kohanga Reo and kura ahumatua. And so, you know, my future has arrived and I'm happy as <laughs> to see all you people happy as. Um, with the, the kind of, as we were talking about government agencies and all that, and particularly in the health sector, um, we have a part I hear about, like, um, are you hopeful that Māori will be well looked after with the establishment of Te Akafaiora or the Māori Health Authority? Um, okay, so we're still debating that because um, in the fourth week of our hearing, our tribunal hearing, we will need to put to the tribunal what we think the solution will look like. So this parallel pathway, you know, we started talking several years ago, oh, Māori Education Commission, um, Papa Pete and Rose Pere and Wally Penetito in 1998, I think, um, first put the idea that there should be a Māori Education Authority. So we've been through those kinds of um Discussions, Māori Education Authority, Minister of Māori Language, um, you know, Te Pai Pai Mutuhake put that. Um, and, but then there was the 2016 um, Māori Language Act, which established the Mātāwai. Um, but as part of the report that went to government for their consideration was the recommendation that a Minister of Māori Language um, be a part of the parliamentary system, you know, those kinds of things yet to be looked at and confirmed by Te Rūnanganui o Ngā Kura Kaupuka Māori, what will the parallel pathway actually look like and entail? Um, what will that treaty partnership actually be in terms of the infrastructure required. Um, so anyway, Te Aka Whaiora, we have started discussing that. Um, yes, there have been some disadvantages pointed out to us that, you know, we would need to consider if that's going to be our option um, that we will put to the tribunal. Hmm. That's about all I can say. There have been some, yes, the benefits of that kind of a um, structure, uh, but there have also been other um, areas pointed out to us that uh, might not be so appealing. It's very diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I lo absolutely love hearing... Um, you know, especially with the Punaha, the process that um, you all went through at those times around Te Pitihana, um, and in the struggle at, of that time, what were those key attributes? I mean, you've spoken a, a little bit about it, like Te, te, te Manawaroa, um, but what are those key attributes or skills or mindset that you and the tiro of the time had to employ to um, realise, idealise, like almost like you knew what you wanted, but then almost from scratch, you know, that, that, Mm. that space of awahatanga of, of ma, like um what yeah what are the, some of those key attributes that you can remember um you know hey hey um mm. that you that to help you realize these aspirations these moi moia um that you have had more tikanga yeah so um that's a that's a really good question um i think that um 
my answer to that question came to me in a dream. It's courage, determination, and the will to succeed. Um, you know, it's mehe maunga teite, um, um, ki te tu o hukwe mehe maunga teite. You know, upoko pakaru, um, rangitihi, um, takai a te upoko ki te akatea, you know, never give up, but there's a will to succeed. And then you draw on all the um, energies around you to um, sustain and maintain that will. You know, there's a courage and a conviction with that will, which is another strength again. Um, it involves heart and soul. Um, this side of the veil, the other side of the veil. Of the veil. Um, that was one of the lessons from Te Hei Koko, and it's in the Modi Ora document. Um, that, and I now believe it to be true. Um, you know, I didn't always just um, take on everything Te Hei Koko said as, you know, a part of my belief system, but um, there's a lot that I have. Um, taken on board of learnings from from her. Um, so this one is um, that the wairua who have um, ascended to the sixth of the rangi tuhaha, um, kete. Katai e rato te hoki mai ki te afina ki te manaki mai a tato ingari me tono ki a rato kata hi rato ka hoki mai kota uru rangi te rangi tua ono um, ana ai ka hoki mai rato e tahi mata ki te ka kite i a rato um, ueno kurata ma ki te afina i a tato ingari Karangati Ko te kawe mā te rangi, ngā kupu, me, me ngā akoranga, me ngā me, take, nui, hei kawe ki te ngākau, ka mau ki te ngākau. Uh, ka mau tonu mā tērā ara ki te ngākau, ka mau ki te whatumanawa. Ana, hei reira. Mo ake tonu. Ko te rangi hei āwhina. Ye, katai, mena karikau he rangi. Ai, ka mau tonu i te tangata. Engari, kaha ake, tere ake, humau ake ki o kufakaro mā te rangi. Ana, kei te rongo i ngā kare a roto. Ei, ko te rangi me te āhua o te waiata. Um, kai roto i tērā ko ngā kare a roto. Nā reira, um, mehe mea ko te ngākau, kai roto i te ako, um, kua kaha ake te pūmau, te whakapūmau. Um, yeah, he tino te kanga tērā. I mohi o te Māori, me nui te waiata, i a koe e whakāko tamariki ana, uh, kia tere mau i a aia, ngā kōrero, ngā tikanga. Yep, mā te rangi. Ko te akotahi a te hiningaro, ai, engari te ngākau me te wairua. Mm. Era um, mea katoa, mihi mea kai reira, i, kai roto i te ako, a te tangata, ai, pūmau ai ki te whatumanawa. Koe rā te, te mana o tēnei mea te, te reo, ngā, ngā ihirangaranga o te reo waiata. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
you know, Taiana ki te, te mutinga o ta tātou kōrero i, I tēnei wai te whaia. I've got a couple of questions that kind of talk around, um, you know, uh, our kura, our raukura and te kura kapapa, and kura kapapa Māori are thriving now, reo and our tikanga, our Māori. Um, there is also those of our tauira, tauira Māori who aren't as fortunate as our raukura. Um, how can we better support those tauira in being Māori and succeeding as Māori? And, and equally, um, how do you feel about the education system being inaccessible to some of us and therefore not having the same equity of access to learning te reo as others? And that was that speaking more of pakeke or middle age, um, you know, so mai ngā te reanga um, tai tamariki, tamariki, te reo noki ngā pakeke, wo he hae tahi kōrero aki aki, au, um, ki te nehunga. I'm a great believer in utilizing resources and each and every individual has that resource to go out and campaign and promote um, the benefits, the advantages of learning Māori and being Māori. Um, so, you know, promotion, whakatairanga, which is what we did in the 70s, went out big time. You know, Māori Language Day. Um, go and speak Māori, argue with Russell Ma Marshall on TV and argue with him totally in Māori, you know, make a point. Um, five Minutes News in Māori, you know, start small, promoting. Uh, what did we first start off? Our first Māori program was um, we wanted a 20-minute country calendar type program on Sundays about, you know, promoting Māori culture. Um, and so we got Koha. That was our 20-minute country calendar type program. Um, you know, we um, argued for five minutes news, uh, prime time, five minute daily, five minutes prime time news program. And we won that. Eventually, we got te karere, hey. But um, every person can make that commitment to um, promote the advantages of learning Māori and help them to learn Māori. Um, you know, we can all become our tārani tutors and be teaching Māori to our mates, to friends, to neighbours, you know, start small. But it's a promotional, um, it's a, has to be a, a commitment to promoting te reo Māori. So, you know, Tauta Fiti and all the other organisations that promote te reo Māori yeah, just um, must be better resourced and get their heads together and do it better. Um, you know, television, man, that's powerful. You, you are very powerful um, when you're in the media. Mm. Um, we are powerful in education. Uh, and I guess you're powerful too in the health um, workforce because you have a lot of contact with people who need this kind of um, pathway to bring them back to a state of well-being as Māori. Um, so yeah, everybody make a personal commitment as well as our government organisations, Māori organisations, our runanga, our marae, you know, committing to be the um, whaka oho oho, mm. te rautaki whaka oho oho, whaka rata rata mai i uh, ngā whānau. Kia piri mai kia tātou. Tātou te hunga, kei a tātou te reo. Ai. Um, another waiata that comes to mind from Riti Mana Farekura. Whaka piri piri mai, whaka tata tata mai rā. Yeah. So, you know, we can all do this. Um, we can do it better if we're you know, adequately resourced. Well, it's fire here, Hey, Waiata. Hey, hey, Kutita Hiririna Waiata. Hey, Kupu Fakamutaka. 
to be young, gifted, and Māori. <laughs> yep, te rā noe ho. Te nā koe te whaia. Nā, e kaupapa he waia tānō, a ka pū mai i a rua i te pupuke. Ko te kaupapa o te kura nei, he kaupapa Māori e. Ko te kaupapa o te kura nei, ko te aho mātua. Ko tātou e nei no ngā hau e whā, e ako ana i te kura kaupapa, hei o ranga mo te reo, ranga tira. Whai a te iti kahurangi e, ki te tu o huko e, mehe mau ngā teitei e, hei o ranga ngā kaupi ki ngā wai o rā e. Aha koa hei tinoa, hei ti mapihi paunamu, kia ngā kau maha ki tātou katoa. Ko te reo te Māori o te mana Māori. Ia. Ai rā, tau toko. Tau toko ana, i te taua waiata, nihi ana kia koe te whaia. Mo ngā enei ohaki, he ohaki tanga, ne. Kia tātou e noho nei te mata o te whenua hi koe nei. Mahi anei ngā mahi nui ki te mau mahara, ki te pūtake tanga mai o tēnei hi koe tanga. Nā, ko koutou rā tēna i mahi whawhai i ngā whawhai nui, i mahi ngā mahi nui. He oranga mō mātou a te tira hau te hara mai nei. Rei rei te whae tēnā koe, ngā huatanga katoa, kei runga iā koe te rangatira tēnā rawatira koe.